on this edition of On Record. Affinity Flying Training marks five years of transforming the UK's Air Force training program. And one of the oldest military aircrafts in Israel's history gets an extreme makeover. Hello, I'm Lauren Izo, and we are On Record. The Royal Air Force is marking a milestone with the UK MFTS, its pilot training program reaching its fifth birthday. Elbit Systems UK together with KBR have delivered 42 training aircrafts, including the Phenom, the Prefect, and the Texan T1 and T6. The program trains aircrew from initial training through elementary, basic flying tasks, and multi-engine training. Elbit Systems led a major avionic upgrade to the Hercules C-130HI, also known as the Carnaf, one of Israel's oldest military aircrafts. According to Lieutenant Y, an aircrew member from the Israeli Air Force's 131st Squadron, the old Hercules couldn't meet the required missions and challenges that aircrews face in 2021. He added that many new functions were added to the flight platform to enable the aircrews to operate safely and efficiently. The cockpit underwent a complete makeover and was turned into a glass cockpit. The old systems that display essential information including flight path, engine status, radar and weather conditions were replaced with new multi-function displays. And head-up display was also added, similar to that of fighter jets. The production of several Seagull unmanned surface vessels is underway in the Netherlands. Bound for an Asian Pacific Navy, the USVs will be equipped to autonomously perform mine countermeasure missions, integrating side scan and forward looking sonars, remotely operated vehicles for mine identification and destruction, combat management systems, and satellite communication capability. Romanian Defense Minister Nicolae Ciuca visited Elbit Systems facilities in Megurele, Romania recently. During the visit, he was presented with the company's unmanned turrets produced on site, which are also used for the Romanian Army's Piranha 5 armored personnel carriers, as well as the company's Termes 450 unmanned airborne systems. A human and machine teaming center of excellence is set to open in Melbourne, a partnership between the Victorian government and Elbit Systems of Australia. The facility will develop autonomous and intelligent solutions for pressing problems, with a focus on investing in homegrown solutions and local talent. The research will produce applications that can be used across defense and homeland security, in addition to all emergency services. And that's all for this edition of On Record. For more updates from Elbit Systems, you can visit our Facebook or YouTube pages, and don't forget to let us know what you think. I'm Lauren Izo. Thank you for watching.